Kota Bukti. আমি চোদ্দ দিন ধর্ণা করেছিলাম সিঙ্গুরে আসেনি আমি চোদ্দ দিন ধর্ণা করেছিলাম সিঙ্গুরে আসেনি কিন্তু আমরা প্রথম দিন থেকেই চেষ্টা করে যাচ্ছি ওই ট্রায়েড আওয়ার বেস্ট এরপরে আশা করি জনগণ আমাকে ক্ষমা করবেন আমার এই কটি কথা বলার জন্য আমাদের নামে অনেক আমাকে অনেক অসম্মান করা হয়েছে আমাদের সরকারকে মামাটি মানুষের সরকারকে অনেক অসম্মান করা হয়েছে অনেক অপমান করা হয়েছে সোশ্যাল নেটওয়ার্কে অনেক ভুল বোঝাবুঝি হয়েছে অনেক কুৎসা অপপ্রচার হয়েছে যারা সাধারণ মানুষ জানতেন না যে এর মধ্যে একটা কালার আছে মানুষ এসেছিলেন বিচার চাইতে তিলোত্তমার কিন্তু আশা করি মানুষ বুঝতে পারছেন ওরা বিচার চায় না ওরা চায় চেয়ার আমি মানুষের স্বার্থে এমন কোন নিজে পদত্যাগ করতেও রাজি আছি আমার মুখ্যমন্ত্রীর পদ চাই না কিন্তু আমি চাই মানুষ বিচার পাক তিলোত্তম বিচার পাক আর সাধারণ মানুষ চিকিৎসা পাক আর তা না হলে কিন্তু আপনাদেরও যেমন আন্দোলন আছে পরিবারগুলো যদি আমাদের কাছে কই ফের চাই আমাদেরও তো কই ফের দিতে হবে আমরা তার জন্য তৈরি থাকব অনেক অনেক ধন্যবাদ নমস্কার Chief Minister herself encourages live telecast of all her administrative meetings, then perhaps our request was not unjustified. Also, as we are headed towards a discussion regarding our demands of justice and not any subjudice matter, we didn't find any breach of code of law in our request for live telecast. We are also asked to keep all our electronic gadgets outside the meeting hall before entering the meeting hall which negated any chance of video recording from our side but much to our disappointment this issue remained non-negotiable unfortunately as we waited patiently in the streets of Navanno for three hours in the rain and heat hoping for better sense to prevail after all this we discovered that our honorable CM did a press release regarding this meeting which has devastated us emotionally. We reached at her footsteps seeking justice, but a most insignificant matter of live telecast came in the way of a hopingly fruitful meeting. The meeting for which the entire nation waited eagerly had to be called off for such a small issue. Abhaya's family had handed us a great responsibility of bringing justice for their deceased daughter but a positive step towards that could not be taken, unfortunately. Our Honorable Chief Minister mentioned in our press release how the healthcare has collapsed due to our C's work, citing certain examples. This has made us even more disheartened. We have already mentioned in our previous press releases that all our facilities are uninterrupted, that all our senior faculties are working relentlessly to keep health cover services running, that we are merely trainees meant for learning treatment protocols, and that the health care of the state cannot depend on only these 3% trainee doctors. If that is the case, the question 
gets automatically directed to the already existing lacuna in the healthcare system, which currently holds numerous unrecruited vacancies and numerous infrastructural deficiencies at every step. This we say without any arrogance or ego. We also believe that a question on healthcare services is a direct insult on our respected senior faculties, nurses and other hospital staff. Yes, we know that our Honorable Chief Minister has waited patiently for us, but we also have been waiting for the last 34 days to seek justice. We waited patiently for this discussion to take place. We are always eager for any transparent discussion with an open mind. We are waiting even today, right till this very moment. But we are not waiting to get any chair, nor do we have any political agenda, as has been unduly claimed by our Honorable Chief Minister. We never demanded her resignation from any of the numerous administrative posts she is holding. We respect the chair and we have full faith in that. We landed in the doorsteps of Navanno, keeping faith in that chair only. But to our great despair, our Honorable CM has labelled our plea as a political agenda, which is very baffling. Our Honorable Chief Minister has apologised to the general public for the con cancellation of yesterday's meeting. We, the protesting junior doctors, believe that in addition to that, we should all apologize universally to the departed soul of Avaya for not being able to bring her justice yet. She, who lost her life due to a possible systematic corruption and a deep-rooted conspiracy. Thank you. Thank you.